Hello and welcome to another day on the channel. My name is RN Jesus, and today we'll be doing some more Dominar United drafting. If you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe button. And without further ado, let's jump into our pack one pick one. Our rare is Maria, Scholar of Antiquity. Not the greatest. Elvish Hydromancer I like. Braids. Uh, the uncommons aren't the greatest besides the Hydromancer. Orborg Repossession, if you're in black-green, is pretty good. Um, I think I have to take the Hydromancer here just for the fact that there's nothing really else in this pack. Like, it's pretty sad all around. Like, it's between the Hydromancer, the Repossession, and maybe the Cavalier. Maybe I take the Cavalier, but then there's, like, nothing I really want to wheel. Let's take the Hydromancer. Okay, there's an Ivy. I do I do like an Ivy deck sometimes. Vesuvian Duplomancy Ivy could be fun. Um, other cards in the pack are, like, Tala's Lookout, Scout the Wilderness, Elf Hamworm... Banalish Sleeper is really good if you're blue, black, or white, black, my bad. So you can get the kicker off and then just be a Fleshbag Marauder. Um, hmm. There's not very much that goes well with Ivy, but it's kind of cool. Like, I guess the minus one, minus O trick to draw extra cards. Or the Domain Pump Spell. I think we take Scout the Wilderness here, as it's just a really good card. And keeps us in green. Okay. Boar Turk Bone Rattle. That's a pretty good card. Marius Outrider is also pretty strong in the Domain decks. There are some nice lands. But Boar Turk is just one of the best Domain cards there is, besides Nael or Tatiova. So yeah, just a 4-4 that reanimates something is really good, so we'll be taking that. Slimefoot Survey is kind of cool, but it's really slow. Again, Outriders, but we'll just take Boar Turk here. Here... We take either Relic of Legends, just as some mana fixing, or Radiant Grove. And I think since we already have Scouts of the Wilderness, I think we like getting the Radiant Grove so we're getting our domain stuff online. Artillery Blast. The only black card is Splatter Goblin, only blue card is Academy Wall of Note. Hopefully the Outriders wheel, since or at least one of the two Outriders that we've seen. Here there's a Rada. Which is kinda cool. Worked really well with the Relic of Legends, but we don't have that anymore. But probably won't wheel anyway. So there's a bite down. Impulse can dig pretty deep. I kind of want to take the Rada. But I feel like that it's not the greatest pick. And I think we might want to just take Impulse. Because the domain decks end up more being blue green. Or like black green. So there's a chance that we play Impulse. Yeah. I like Impulse. And then here, there's... Hmm, nothing really good. Like, there's a Bog Badger, but we don't want to play that. We'd much rather play a Battlefly Swarm. And there's nothing in blue, either. There's a Cleaving Skyrider in white. Same with the Sleeper. So that's pretty good. So, there's... A white deck might be open. I think we'll take the Battlefly Swarm here. This is an early creature in case we wanted to go into more of a black-green style deck rather than blue-green. And here we get a Relic of Legends and another Banalish Sleeper. Wow, that is a lot of them that we've seen. But we'll just take Relic of Legends. Great mana fixing, and if you get enough Legends, this can also be good. Plus, if we wield the Rada, we probably will play it. Here, there's a shield wall sentinel in case we want to do some wall stuff. 
and we're not taking like a tide pool turtle over an air or an air tide scorn so just take a shield wall sentinel cool on the wheel we get a sojourner shield wall and the one white card in the pack argivian cavalier okay so i feel like white's pretty open hmm that's interesting do you want to just stay on color and take the sojourner or do you want to move into like a white style deck that is open? I think I like taking the Sojourner here. Yep, there's a sleeper. <laughs> um, I mean, we don't really want to play a Bog Badger, but there's a chance we play the Apparition. Over taking like a, a possible sleeper or Soaring Drake. Since we look to be more like a black green style rather than blue green. Um, automatic Librarian or Toxic Abomination. Toxic trades with a lot of things early. But the t two life loss is pretty harmful. We'll take the Librarian. Artillery Blast. Great to see. Um, Faith Bonder. So, there's still a chance we go into some blue. So, yeah. Nice pack one with a bunch of good cards. Here in pack two. Our rare is Threats Undetected. So this gets your third and fourth best creatures. And then puts the rest back into your deck. I don't hate that. Like, it guarantees draws two creatures. So it's a, at least a... Um, what is it called? A Divination. That draws two spells. I honestly don't hate it. And, like, the rest go back into your deck, so it's not even, like, that bad. So, like, pick your best cards. Um, Phyrexian Rager is also here. Magnagroth Sentry. And then just some lands, but I like taking the threats undetected here. Could be fun. Ah, great. It's Shivan Reef. Just gotta reload. There we go. So now we got our Threats Undetected. And a Jodas Codex is pretty good. Just great card draw all around. Um, Balmore, more for the Spells deck. Essence Scatters, Great Interaction, Salvage Mana Worker, and Scout the Wilderness. Also another Rager, but we'll take the Codex as some really good card draw. Here... We've got another Artillery Blast. An Elf Hamworm is just some top end. Mm. I like taking Blast for the fact that we are pretty light on the removal side at the moment. Leaf Crown Visionary is kind of cool. How many... Do we have any Elves? <laughs> I doubt we're playing it. Yeah, we have one Elf. Elvish Hydromancer. <laughs> Yeah, let's just take Artillery Blast. And a Sunlit Marsh is perfect over a Bog Badger or Phalanx. And here... We have an Outrider. That's pretty good. We'll take that over a third Artillery Blast or an Eerie Soul Tender. Just like it shoots your opponent for 5 damage or 4 damage most of the time. And here, we could take a Meteorite as some more fixing. Or we can take Zaro Janin. We've got our Relic of Legends to combo with it. Mm, how many like ways do we have to make tokens or small creatures? One, two, three, four, five, six. Who cares about toughness, right? Yes, yeah, so it doesn't help walls. Does work well with sleepers, though. <laughs> and here, just take a geothermal bog. Just some good fixing over an outrider. Here, there's an iconoclast. Great three drop, or two drop over salvage mana worker. Just a three two trample for two is already pretty good. It will get outclassed eventually, but it can hold its ground pretty well. So we'll just take the Iconoclast and Geothermal Bog on the wheel over a Mesa Cavalier or Fire Nato. Seems pretty good. 
Got a lot of good fixing, but we still need like a bit more green, black fixing to help us cast our main colors. Actually, I feel like black isn't even our main color anymore. It's more of a splash. Like we've got Tad Apparition, Battlefly Swarm, and Borchurk. That is it. Scout the Wilderness on the wheels, amazing, over our Salvage Mana Worker. Feel pretty good about that one. We do want some more, like, threats for Threats Undetected. Baird. I guess a Shield Wall Sentinel we're most likely going to be playing. Bog Badger over Tide Pool Turtle. So yeah, deck's looking pretty good. We don't have any blue lands yet, so we won't be able to kick Hydromancer just yet. Nor do we have for or can get full domain. But being base green is pretty good. That way we get access to these scout the wildernesses and any other fixing we come across. Blast on the wheel. Don't mind if I do. Snare spin is fine. So in pack three we see a tear asunder great removal spell our rare is urza assembles the titans which cares about planeswalkers so we don't care about that we'll just be taking tear asunder over like wraths with light stalwart there's no lands in the pack and there's also an extinguished light which also would be a great card we'll just take the tear asunder just great removal and here Territorial Morrow is just a big, beefy creature over an Outrider. Or a Vine Wall, actually. A Vine Wall could definitely be good in the early game. And I don't want to take a Geothermal Bug just because we already have two of them. So let's just take the Morrow. That's another big threat. There's an Urg, Spawn of Turg. Pretty good. But I think I like the Terra Sunder here. Just really good removal. And a Haunted Mire. Perfect. Over a Sojourner or Scout. Or a Love Song. Yeah, we'll just take the Haunted Mire. Super good fixing. Now, there's a Sojourner number two. We could take the Barricade. It works well with our Scout the Wildernesses and it can hold the ground early. Vivisector is also fair as another two drop. We could take the Destroy Evil as some removal. Um, I kind of want to just take a bit a top end card. Like we, we only we have five top ends, so maybe we don't. Well, now we get Aaron, so that isn't bad. Here we can take a third scout as some more fixing slash good card. Molten Monstrosity is fine, but we'll just take the Scout. And then we can take a Barkweave Crusher. Or a Knight of Dawn's Light. Or even a, like an aggressive Sabotage. We'll just take the Barkweave Crusher. And now we get as our last pick a Charismatic Vanguard. We will have enough mana to pump into it a lot. Same with Queen. Or not Queen, not same, but we have some token stuff with Queen, like Scout, Hydrum. Actually, wait, if you create one or more tokens, uh, plus a 1-1. One, one. That's annoying. I wanted to double it. I mean, then it would be overpowered, but it would still be cool. Another Artillery Blast. Just make sure nothing ever lives if it can tap itself. Um, Balduvian Atrocity, not really what we're interested in. We're not playing the Shield Wall Sentinels, are kind of sad. Warhorse, over Herbalist. Mesa Cavalier, you could possibly get in the deck. Gibbering Barricade. I don't think we want to play Aaron since we, our main color isn't white. But it could definitely be good, so we might actually end up playing it. So yeah, the draft was interesting to say the least, but could be fun. Let's see, we probably don't want to run the Mesa Cavalier. 
Um, our, we don't want to run the Tad Apparition either since we don't have enough black to go with it. And the Battlefly Swarm. Yeah, cut the Battlefly Swarm. Then we need one more cut. Charismatic Vanguard. Yeah, it just isn't the greatest card in the world, even though we have like three Scout the Wildernesses to get creatures on the board. Yeah, we have enough ways to utilize these tokens. So on to the mana base. Um, let's see. We have 13 green, 6 white, 3 black, and 1 red. And we have green, green, 8 green, 7 white. We want more green sources. It's our main fixing color. And then we cut 1 planes. Let's see. We'll have, then we'll have 2, 3, 4 white sources. We definitely want to add an island, just that way we can get um, full domain. So the question is, what land do we cut? Well, let's cut a forest. Like, we're all, we'll already have enough green sources. We have eight green sources, nine including the relic. And then with one, you can get more with scout. So, Plus, we don't even care too much about getting double green. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy this drafting. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button before we jump into things. And let's head into some games and see how the deck does. On the play, this hand looks really good. It has all of our colors and threats undetected. So we can just go grab two cards and two creatures. So looks pretty good. They play an aquifer. Sure, sure, sure. Play the swamp, get try and get domain as early as possible. They play a Knight of Dusk's Shadow. We can't tear us under that. And we can't block with a barricade, so threats undetected here. Threats undetected. Um Sojourner with different powers. Sojourner. Hmm. Do we want Sojourner or Boar Turk? We have a lot of four power creatures, so that's actually kind of annoying. We want the Morrow. Yeah, let's just go cheap with the Sojourner. Bark Weave Crusher and. Iconoclast? Or Hydromancer? Um, we want some early game, so... And we can get double white for this, Aaron. So let's take Aaron. Let's run it like that. They can give us a Morrow. Um, Bark Weave Crusher. Yavimaya's Sojourner, and Aaron. So what do they give us? This is a fun card. I like it a lot. Although I didn't, I forgot about the different powers clause. They give us Aaron and Barkweave Crusher. Sure, sure, sure. They play Kicked Iconoclast. Sure. Annoying, but fine. We'll play a Forest and a Barkweave. Just get a big beefy creature on board. Next we can like cast a kick scout and then we can just start getting some stuff on board. Go to 12. Rada, yikes. That might have to be teared asunder instead. Because this can give plus four, plus four, and that's just pretty scary. We can chump block it for now. Or chump block whatever they pump. I, 
I guess. Go grab an island. Pass. Just get a board online. And if we draw an untapped land, tear asunder into like any of my cards is pretty good. Like a Hydromancer, not even kicked. They swing with the knight. They can double pump, so. Okay, they swing with Rada. Not a good sign. I guess we're taking six. Interesting. Do they forget that Rada can't give the pump to anything else? Or can't give it to itself? I swing with the icon classed. Oh, hit me with your best shot. Do you have a way to tap your Rada? Nope, just an infusion. Oh, that's a trade, so sure. I am fine for a two for one. Magnaross entry, pretty good. We only have one black source at the moment, which does suck. So we can we can only cast one of these three. And I think we need to tear asunder the Rada. Or it gets too out of hand. Or do we just scout scout? Just get our next black source for next turn. We can double spell. No, let's just get rid of the Rada. And then... Do we still scout? Yeah, so we can double spell next turn, because that's definitely going to be important. Oh, wait, we only have one black source. Okay, that's a problem. Let's go grab that pass the turn well unfortunately for us we only have one swamp in the deck an outrider shoot us for four um barricade Aaron Let's go with the Barricade, and Hydromancer unkicked. It feels bad since I was like one mana off of not of kicking the Hydromancer. Hmm. We can definitely stabilize from here. We just need some lucky top decks. And to play things right. Make sure something survives. Block the Outrider. And chump block the Sentry. Actually, maybe we should have chump blocked the Outrider and double block the Magnaroth in case they have Bore Turk Bone Rattle. That's on the fringe kind of thing. Cool. We couldn't have gained life anyway. I play Rootwalla. And a bog. Yeah, I don't think you can win this one. GG's. On to the next game. On the draw, this hand looks fine. We can keep it. Like, you've got Blast. And Haunted Mire's perfect fixing. Although, we would prefer the Geothermal Bog at the moment, since we have a bunch of green. And in case we drew our Outrider. But this is fine. They play a Voda Sea Scavenger. And let's match it with the Barricade. This is a great use for our Scout the Wilderness tokens. A 
another 3-2 that scries too? Sure. Another two powered creature with a big butt. Tora, that's a little worrisome. Hmm, do we hold up artillery blast to blow up Tura, or do we automatic librarian to help find our next land? I think we just pass. Hold up blast. Because killing Tora is what we want to do at the moment. Or at least try and do. Because this is going to become a problem. So we're just going to blast it. Cool. It's dead. And then a cavalier. Sure thing. Anna land, perfect. Everything is coming out just how we want it to be. Scout kicked. Go find a red source. Sojourners cheaper. Can it enlist tap non or defender creatures? It can. <laughs> the barricade can help with this crusher. They arrest. Probably the barricade. Oh, the crusher. Interesting. I was not expecting that. They play a vanguard. Sure, 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 sure. Um, do we want to just cast Kick Scout? I think I like playing Sojourner here just because this Vanguard is going to become a problem. And let's us swing through our barricade. See, I just slam Sojourner. Pass the turn. Going to pump with a Vanguard? No. Let's just blast this. We have a good amount of removal still in the deck. Well, they have a lookout, so it's annoying. But we can have it trade with our Outrider. And if we trade, I'm honestly happy with that, even though they get to look at the top two and draw. Because then there's no more air pressure. And Borturk is a great um, backup plan. Well, scouts of the wilderness kicked. Go get a blue source. Pass a turn. All of their three twos. Stall for time. That is annoying. They'll keep him tapped for two turns. Yikes. block one Voda, triple block the other, make sure that they both die. Less creatures they have, the better, even though we do lose ours. Or we do lose most of them. We're left with one. And they play a cute bulwark. They remove some sun counters. Let's scout. Kicked. And then Librarian. Another Blast? Sure. Sure, I'll take another Blast. Really good removal. They play an Academy of Wall. Swing in with the lookout. Well, slam Borturk, get back 
Jibbering Barricade. And we can start using Jibbering Barricade as a card draw engine. And no attacks because of the staying wall. Pass a turn. They swing with Lookout. Sure, we'll block with the Outrider. And then we can have them waste their turn activating the Vanguard by blowing it up. Pew. Now they most likely can't cast whatever they do. And another Blast. Perfect. So let's move to combat. Swing, swing, swing. This acting only as a sorcery. Yeah, so we can swing with all these tokens as well. And whatever token they block, we can sacrifice to the barricade. Chomp. And tear asunder. Perfect. Yep, we are slowly taking control of this game. Griffin Protector, sure. Into another bulwark. The bulwarks are kind of cool with what they're doing. Sure. Let's tear us under the protector. And then blast the wall. Pew. Our turn. Swing with everything. They can't block very well. They can block their chump. Chump, take four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, GG's. We were able to take control of that game after a bit. Ooh, close one. Like, we got down to 12, and then we had, or 11. And then we had to start using this barricade as some late game card draw. But yeah, GG's. On to the next game. On the draw here. This hand is definitely a little slow. Doesn't have anything early. But Sojourner can become 4 mana. And we have Threats and Detected on turn 3. Kinda wanna try, but this is an aggro deck. We are so dead. Yeah, that's Mulligan. This is a little better. Bottom the Blast. We've got three drops now to actually add to the board. Scout to the Wilderness. Decent. They play a Blight Pile. Okay, now we're very sad that we didn't keep that first hand. They play a Rager, sure. Relic of Legends. That fixes our mana perfectly. Well, let's scout. Go get a white source. So we can cast Blast. Actually, maybe we should have there gotten a red or blue source. Specifically red. That way we can next turn cast Relic of Legends and still have Blast up. Threats undetected. Could be fun. But at the moment, let's just Relic of Legends and then Artillery Blast the Hydromancer. Or just play a Barricade. Let's just play the Barricade. Like, once they have something actually scary in play, then we'll make the Relic of Legends play. But they still swing in, so they definitely have a combat trick. Force them to use it. Tribute. Tribute. Um, 
missing land drops does hurt, so... Automatic Librarian, go find me some lands, will you? Perfect. We'll put Aaron on the bottom. That's one of our three powered creatures to fetch with threats. Trade here. Cool. They play our barricade, so they're getting some defenders up and running. Let's Relic of Legends into Threats Undetected. Let's see, for four, Boar Turk. Dang, we only have... <laughs> we ran out of powers. Okay, so we may have to go back and check out the deck a bit more. Because we ran out of different powers. So, this is draw one creature of their choice. Which is, they're definitely going to give me the icon iconclast. Yeah, that sucks. I didn't... Yeah, we have to go back and look at the deck. Okay, they give us a Barkweave Crusher. I'm surprised they didn't give us the iconclast. Erg, spawn of Turg. Um, Barkweave Crusher, hold up Artillery Blast, or just play a Maro. Let's slam the 8-8. That way next turn we can Hydromancer kick it. And get another Maro. Extinguish the light, dang. Sing for another two. Play a Marsh. Cast the Crusher. Pass the turn. Worm, sure. Turn creature you control, dang. Oh well. Cast Kicked Hydromancer. Make another Barkweave Crusher. Pass the turn. Keep whatever it is on top. This Erg is giving us a pretty good card advantage. Ooh, another Blight Pile. Yikes. That's actually a really big threat, so we might just want to tear asunder it. Just get rid of it. Uh, what we should have done is tear asunder the um, non-summoning sick one, and then when they activate, we can blast the summoning sick one. Well, we're taking an extra two damage for no reason. They cast their own Hydromancer, copying the Blight Pile. Yikes. Well, things aren't looking that good. Erg grows a bit. So yeah, we're gonna have to go back and look at the deck real quick. Codex, could you draw us out of this? Not sure what we have that can get us out of this, but we'll see. Blast. Yep, just land. GG's. Okay, so. Of note, we need to change our deck a bit, because we have... Barely anything to fetch with threats. <laughs> okay, so let's go take a look real quick. Um, Snare Spinner is a one power creature, and we don't have any one power. Let's put in like Battlefly Swarm. And then the way of two power creatures, we only have one, so we can add like a Tattered Apparition. And then let's cut some three power creatures. Um, let's cut Aaron. Yeah, it's been not the greatest for us. And then we have like so many four powered creatures. Like everything we want to tutor up in the high end is four power. 
So I I guess I guess we cut czar. Cut the czar. Yeah, let's run it like that. That's a little more threats undetected friendly. So I'll see you all in the next game. On the play, this hand looks pretty good. They mulligan a few times, so that's a pretty good sign for us. Koi. But yeah, they I think a mulligan twice. Yeah. Let's lead off with a Radiant Grove, get some green mana going. Sunlit Marsh tapped. Since we don't want to hold up Terra Sunder turn two, even though it could have gotten rid of this mana worker. That still wouldn't have been worth it. Just cast a barricade. And pass. Cast an apparition. And pass the turn. Apparition already being better than Aaron or anything that they could have. Ooh, mind shaper. That's pretty cool. Yavamaya Iconic Iconoclast. I think we'll just run that out as a 3 2. Pump. Cast the Clast. Pass the turn. Honestly, that Leaf Crown Visionary, we have two elves in the deck. Elvish Hydromancer and I I can class, so it's not even that bad. Um, yeah, let's just scout. Go get a red source. And then just take six from this Baylock. And then we'll just blast it. Six. They play a root wall. Sure. You draw a land. You blast this to the past. Ooh. I don't think there's any protection in your colors besides... Uh, shield up. Well, there's a bite down, which sucks. And we can't pump it enough to save it. And I think we want to tear us under over sacrificing with the barricade, so. Yeah. Swing for three. Because they definitely want the root wall alive. Because this is like a 5 5 at the moment. Well, at least they think it's a 5 5. Because it's about to be a dead five. We'll tear that asunder. Because sunbathing root walls are a problem. Well, I mean, now we can start doing some gibbering barricade stuff. Battlefly swarm. Pass the turn. Play Cavalier, sure. Chomp down on a 1 1. And another Scout. Perfect. Cast another Kick Scout. Go get an Island. We'll kill them in 12 turns. <laughs> Eventually, they'll die to the swarm. And nothing will save them. They swing at the 
cavalier. Well, we were gonna eat one of our soldiers anyway, so might as well just chump. Chomp down on the soldier. No damage goes through, and another scout. Perfect. Well, that's annoying. That digs pretty deep. We still have 21 cards, so we don't have to worry about decking too much. There's a cool blast. And scout kicked again. Swing for one. Pass a turn. And if we really need to, we can just blast something, but we're most likely just going to keep sacrificing stuff to the cavalier. With the barricade. Sure. Jump. And they binding something. Not my barricade! Not my barricade! It was so cool. Rude. Well, let's smack him for one. Threat of death touch is already too much for them. Uh, kicked Hydromancer. Copy Swarm. I feel like it's just, that's just kind of sad. But we don't really have a better play. Besides, like, playing Barkweave Crusher and waiting. Copy a swarm. Pass the turn. These swarms will win me the game. <laughs> one ones with flying and death touch. their own Hydromancer. Copying their Griffin Protector, I assume. Sure, we'll trade with it now. Give it Death Touch. My turn. Boar Turk Bone Rattle. Cool, cool, cool. Sing for one. They take it. And let's reanimate our Tattered Apparition. Pass the turn. <laughs> we will win in the air, and this Tattered Apparition has also been doing work for us. forced into an acolyte kicked yikes well, that's really big this can be pumped twice so I don't know why you're attacking I guess they didn't realize how much black mana we had considering our board state is a little cluttered we'll swing for one Poke em, Battlefly Swarm, poke em. Barkweed Crusher. Librarian. Amaro, that's pretty good. I'll start having to chump block that. And we'll pass. Karn. That's some card draw in half. Interesting, that plus any. I might have minus there, just to, like, pay for draw a card. They pass, so let's move to combat. 
and list with the bark weave crusher attacking Karn since he's gonna get chump blocked anyway. And then soon with the battle fly swarm. Tap Borturk. And if they double block that, that is fine by me. Play a big 10 10. Pass the turn. Well, are you gonna minus now? Yep, how much mana do you want to pay with Karn? We need answers. Jeez, that's a lot of mana. But paying 10? You get to look through half of your deck and put one of them into your hand? I mean, I respect it, but also, don't you want to cast whatever you drew? Codex looks really good. Let's see, if we swim with everything, what happens? Block here, 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 and here, and take. Block here, 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 and here. Are they just dead on board? Let's see. I um, might, might be missing something. Block there, 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 and there. So all four of these would be blocked. You take. Yeah, they're just dead on board. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe that's eight. Yeah, eight. GG's. On to the next game. On the draw, this hand's pretty bad. Have to mulligan. Yikes. If we draw a green source, this hand gets a lot better. And on the draw, I think we have to try it because we don't really want to mulligan any farther. Yeah. We have a lot of green sources in the deck, so we'll probably draw one. They play a grotto. See? Her look at that. We are so good at this game. Relic of Legends. Pretty good. Well, those are some 1-1s, one alright. Strike team, yikes. Oh, I don't think we can take off the next turn. I think we have to blast something here. Over guaranteeing another land. Blast the strike team before they have any way to protect it. play a love song. Are you gonna have me draw cards? Please give me cards. Please give me cards. They might think that they're aggressive enough that they want the cards. Dang, they just get the bird. Coward! Um, okay. With less pressure, we can scout now. Go grab our island. They can get some counters. Annoying, but fine. I forget if we have life gain in this deck at all. Because we're definitely going to need some. No kills and strike teams here, please? Warhost Frenzy. Yikes. Well, I go down to two. <laughs> oh, God, this doesn't look good. Yep, we're dead. GG's.
That was super aggressive from them. Now we can't, we don't have any lands to keep up with them, so GG's. So, the deck didn't pan out as great as we'd hope, but it was kind of cool to try out um, threats undetected. Like, I never realized that card was with different powers, otherwise I might have taken it much less highly, but it was still cool. But yeah, if you enjoyed the drafting, make sure to hit the like subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Um, I will see you all next time. I do drafting. I post videos, try to do every two days at 10 o'clock um, Pacific time. And then that would be 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure to like and subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.